Hi, Gemini. Welcome. So, Gemini, this is going to be your you versus them reading. I'm going to go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. Keep in mind that it's a general reading, so the roles may be reversed. Feel free ugh, feel free <laughs> to flip it if you need to. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and let's go ahead and get started. So it's really interesting to me right off of the bat that I fumbled my words because when I did the Aries reading, I did almost the exact same thing, and then I was picking up a lot of Gemini vibes in the Aries reading, and... There was some weird correlation there between Gemini, you, and Aries. So if you're dealing with an Aries, check out their reading. <clears throat> if you have it in your chart, check it out. It may resonate with you. And or Aries season might be of importance to you. Okay, so Aries season is right around the corner. Um, <clears throat> kind of. It's, let's see... February to March is Pisces, so March to April time frame might be important. And no way, of course I get the lovers out, which is your energy here, Gemini. <clears throat> and also, <clears throat> I have been absolutely fine all day, but when I started meditating on your energy, I felt <clears throat> a lot of pressure in my throat area, in the throat chakra. So there seems to be something about like miscommunication, blocked communication, <clears throat> maybe something you're suppressing as well, or somebody may be suppressing around you. Um, yeah, during this time frame. So there is like this encouragement to clear your throat chakra. And how do you do that? By speaking your truth, a Gemini, by not holding back, which is not really something you do anyways, as an air sign, as a Gemini. But um, also, this might be a good time to clear things up, okay? Um, <clears throat> it's like it's really bothering me. So anyways, the overall energy for you and your person, you have the card of destiny. This is Aquarian energy for some of you. You could be connecting with an Aquarius. Um, but this is all about your soul school, your learning curve, fulfilling your purpose, um, it's a very maturing type of experience, okay, um, where it's more so about the journey than the destination during this time frame, which isn't it always about the journey, right? Because like the only destination that is assured is the grave. <laughs> so you better make it fun and interesting all the way up until then. But um, yeah, yeah, not to be like a Debbie Downer or anything. Whoa, okay, I'm sorry. But also, we are eternal. So even if your physical body ends, your consciousness remains. So no worries, Gemini. Anyways, <clears throat> you have in your overall energy, your card, the lovers, as well as the Knight of Cups. Both are very spiritual energies. Okay, the lovers highlights commitment in relationships. Um, you might feel a very spiritual bond with whoever you're connecting with or some sort of destiny or karma that's maybe wrapped around this connection. Um, it feels like a very high level type of vibe, type of energy coming through here for you, Gemini. So let me see what um, person you're connecting with, what their overall energy is. Okay, so they have the moon, which is interesting. So this card also came out in Aries reading. So again, if you're dealing with an Aries, go check out their reading. But this is talking about um, spirituality, emotions, sensitivity, the dream state, imagination, um, that type of vibe. You may have a very similar type of life path as this person or spiritual lessons to learn as this person. You may feel very intuitively connected to this person, Gemini. Um, you may share some same like karmic ties as to this person or lessons. So very interesting start to the reading, very high level overview. So let's get down into the details and look at the recent past. So what led up to the now moment for the both of you. How are you perceiving each other in the current energy? How do you feel underneath it all? And then the most likely future outcome. So here we go. Gemini, recent past. You have the Ace of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. 
for giving me a Maroon 5 song. He says, wait, can you turn around? Can you turn around? Just wait. You might randomly hear that song, all right, or that those lyrics might resonate with you somehow, but it's, you know, obviously the song is about like wanting second chance or for somebody to turn around, okay, or not make the decision that they were going to make, all right, Gemini, this could have been how you felt in the past or how this person had felt. I just feel like... <clears throat> That song came through so clearly, so take it or leave it. <laughs> now, as far as the cards go, Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles, or I'm sorry, Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like there's been slow progress, slow growth, um, but like progressive, okay? Um, like making progress on things that are important to you, but it kind of being a little bit slow going. And it could have been because there was some karmic cleansing that needed to be done all right in order to truly open up the door of opportunity for you um but i do feel like the door of opportunity opening during this time frame and it's like something that you've been slowly making progress on panning out for you or you receiving something in return okay as we go into um, november december so let's see this person you are connecting with what is there <clears throat> recent past the high priestess the six of wands the five of wands the queen of swords and the seven of pentacles so i feel like um gemini okay this person there's a lot of like intuitive spiritual type of cards out on the table, okay? Um, and I heard, when you know, you know. When you know, you just know. They say like if you meet someone and you question whether they're for you, they're not for you. Because when you know, you know. It's just like so obvious, you know what I mean? Because they fill that void or they fill what your expectation was because don't forget that you are a master creator right you get what you think about whether you want it or not we create through our mind through our thoughts that's why that's why we have thought processes um but we also attract our partners through our vibration and oftentimes we have in our mind what we want in a partner before that partner even manifest. And so when the partner, right, comes through, it's like you recognize it, you know. And if you haven't had this experience, then you haven't met your partner yet, period. Because you will know, you will recognize it. There's some sort of recognition going on here. Um, and this is stemming from the past. So this could have been in the past, but it could also be in the current energy. Um, I feel like this person has to had to overcome quite a bit. Um, they have been working on themselves. They have also been thinking a lot, okay, about spirituality possibly or just this connection in general. There seems to be some sort of internal struggle around this person though or around the connection. Um, and outside influences somehow playing a role as well or at least it has in the past. So let's go further and see what that's about. We're going to look at the current energy now and your perception of each other here, Gemini. That song is so loud. Wait, can we work it out? I just want to be with you. Okay, so the Hierophant, <laughs> I keep getting carried away with that song, the Two of Pentacles. What else? The Six of Cups. Whoa. All right. The Seven of Cups, the Two of Cups, the World card. This is one message here. 
So again, relationships and commitments being highlighted here. There does seem to be some choices that you need to make here. Um, and I feel like the choices are like, I, I keep getting a message around repeating the past. Like, do I repeat the past or do I go for something new? And I feel like you're going to have to feel out what's best for you, Gemini, when it comes to making that decision. Um, there is something coming full circle within the connection or just in general. But I, I feel like you have choices to make. You have two cards about choices. Um, and I do feel it has to deal with relationships or this connection. Um, it's almost like there's a choice here about like going about something the way you did in the past or trying something new or going back to the past versus trying something new. And if I think about that song, it's about like, wait, do I turn around? You know, and it's like, well, those are a play on words because energetically speaking, you can never go backwards. You know, once you're aware of something, once you've experienced something that is now part of your vibration and it never cannot be a part of your vibration. Once it enters your mind, it's in there forever. That's why they say be careful what you lend your mind to because it becomes a part of you. Um, so there is really no technically going back, but you get what I mean. There seems to be like that feeling of like the past repeating or maybe a past cycle in relationships or with this person. And now you're thinking like, okay, how can I change this cyclic behavior or whatever? You know, like when you intentionally try to break a cycle, I feel like that's kind of what's happening here. Or you have the ability to do that, to kind of break through some sort of cyclic pattern around relationships or around this connection. Let's see what this person's perception is then here, Gemini of the connection. Wow, the two of cups. Wow, out twice. No way. No way! Oh my god, this is just like the Aries reading. I'm sorry, I'm so extra. I'm telling you, you're going to resonate with the Aries reading, even if you don't have it in your chart, even if you're not dealing with, with, with one. There is some weird freaking correlation between Aries and Gemini right now, and I don't know what it is or why. But in their reading, the cards matched almost identical when it came to the perception. And now I have two cards out here, and you have the same exact cards as the person you're connecting with and the empress, which was in the Aries reading. You got to be kidding me. So you both have seven of cups, two of cups. They have seven of cups, two of cups. So you're vibrating at the same frequency, right? Meaning like your perceptions or what you're experiencing on a spiritual level is similar. Don't mind my dog. <laughs> She'll stop in a minute. But anyways, there is seems to be like some choices that this person has to make as well around the connection. And it has to deal with two. Hold on. Daisy. She's okay. I got I got all excited and then my dog got all excited. <laughs> so that's my that's my bad. Um, so this person has a choice too about some sort of action, okay? Um, or when to take action or if they should wait or if they should be patient. Um, and I'm getting like best laid plans. So also there might be some action around the connection or movement or change nine months from now, which is around your birthday season next year, which I also picked up in the Aries reading. There's definitely something coming to fruition. Okay. During that time frame, I think right now this person isn't really certain though, which direction they're headed. So they need to be a little bit patient until they feel it out, until they figure it out, okay? And same goes for you. So let's go into the heart space then, Gemini, and see what's going on in the heart space. 
You have the Strength card, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Lovers, which is your energy. So I feel like there's some fears here that you might be needing to face, Gemini. Um, around like loss and abandonment okay it's just a fear though okay fear is false evidence appearing real sometimes fear can block our intuition and you know the difference between fear and intuition intuition feels right it feels good fear always feels anxious fearful that's how you know pay attention to how you feel is this intuitive or is this a fear-based thought? Um, there's like some sort of need to strengthen your ability to decipher the difference between intuition and fear. And a lot of people have trouble with this. I'm actually doing a seminar on how to strengthen this on my Facebook, by the way, which you can purchase a ticket on my Facebook. It's Saturday. It'll be Saturday. But anyways, um, It just seems like, you know, if there is, there seems to be some sort of disconnect here going on between you and this person or with how you're feeling about the connection. It could be that like, there's this very strong sense about this person or this pull towards this person, but yet there's like fear that's kind of surrounding that and almost like this detached type of vibe coming off of you, Gemini, or the person you're connecting with. And yet this strong attraction or this strong pull and not really knowing maybe what to do with that or about that or what to think about that. Um, it's almost like you don't even know what to do about this connection or this person, you know what I mean? Where it's like, okay, I feel it, but what, how, what do I do about it? You know, like I is there's like stress around this it's weird so let's go into this person's emotions and see what's going on in their heart space the king of swords the knight of cups the strength card you both have the strength card in your heart space leo energy for some of you so I feel like on an emotional level here, Gemini, this person has thought a lot about what it is that they want and they are definitely not afraid to go towards it. And they're in the space of wanting equal reciprocity with it when it comes to connections. Um, I feel like this person is someone who fights for what they want. They're not afraid. They don't back down easily when it is something that they're truly set on, when their heart is truly secure and strong about what it wants. So I actually feel like this person being in like this very secure spot with how they feel. And yet you're over here seemingly, I don't want to say in an insecure spot, but it's like you're still weighing things out. It's like you still have something yet to flesh out or feel out about the connection. Uh, and this is on a spiritual level, right? This isn't necessarily something that anyone would anyone would understand but you. <clears throat> but there seems to be something going on here that you're needing to feel out, okay? Whereas this person seems a lot more solid or certain or they're showing up that way. So let's go into the <clears throat> most likely future outcome, which can be changed. That's what you're not communicating about. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> what I just spoke about. All of a sudden my throat started bothering me again. Maybe you're not communicating how you genuinely feeling or what you genuinely have going on with your person because you haven't figured it out just yet. I think that's smart. Okay, I think that's all right. So let's go into the most likely future outcome then, Gemini, <laughs> and see uh, where this is headed. You have the Ace of Pentacles, Death and Rebirth, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. 
and the high priestess. So they had the high priestess earlier. Again, more intuitive, like spiritual type of energy. So <clears throat> I heard something coming to pass. So there's something coming to pass here. Um, around connections. Okay. And there's some sort of intuitive hit that you already know about regarding this. Um, anyways, some of y'all are changing your mind about commitments, what you're committed to, who you're committed to. You're going through some sort of spiritual evolution as well, where it's like you're changing on multiple levels, but it's like from the spiritual aspect down into the ego. And what you once were like very much holding on to, I feel like you kind of easing up or letting go around that and learning to listen to your intuition more. That's what it is. Some of you are learning to let go a little bit more and pay more attention to your spiritual self and to your intuitive self. Because see, your ego will lie to you. It'll tell you that you're not safe. It'll make you care about what other people think. It will have you believing whatever your brain was conditioned to believe. Your intuition, which is your emotional guidance system, your emotions, never, ever, ever leads you astray. You think a thought, you feel an emotion. That emotion is an indicator of how aligned that thought is with what your intuition knows or how far off it is from what your intuition knows. So if you think a thought and you feel terrible, that thought is not an, an intuitive thought. It is not an intuitive thought. It is a fear-based conditioned thought. That's how you know. If you think a thought and it feels wonderful to you, that's your intuition. That's how you know. Anyways, let's go into this person's most likely future outcome. Ooh. Temperance. The moon. That's what they began on. That's what they're ending on. Ooh, I do. <laughs> Clever. Um, <laughs> I did. I do recall saying at the beginning of the reading something coming full circle and like the cards that I started with. No way. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I started at the very beginning of the reading. Let me show you. With the moon. Okay. And the lover's card. Now, I'm ending the reading. The card that just came out for them is the moon. <laughs> And the lover's card <laughs> from beginning to end over and over and over again, my friend, right? So, and the world card, which talks about cycles. Okay. So there's some sort of cyclic behavior or pattern in this connection. I already said that. So I feel like this person stresses over the connection. Um, and that stress perpetuates some sort of cycle within relationships in general in their life, like the way that they think about it or how they stress a connection. I feel like this person is in the space of trying to balance out that energy, right? To achieve some sort of alchemy here. Um, they're also needing to follow their intuition and listen to how they're feeling. Because you know what, this person also suffers from fear-based thoughts and then they mistake it for intuition. So the advice I just gave you, like this person really could use the same or similar advice um, because there's something here that they need to flush out of their energy, okay? And I remember I told you at the beginning of the reading that you and this person have similar karmic lessons or ties, and, and I feel like that's the commonality here. So this person is needing to break some sort of cycle to regain their balance, to regain their autonomy, and to achieve some sort of soul school learning. It's like y'all are both learning from each other, through each other, via the connection, okay? <clears throat> 
So, wow. <laughs> Let's see what the guidance is then, Gemini. It's such an interesting reading for you guys, like for real. Okay, memories that actually fell out on their side. So let's see what else. Or my Gemini's. <laughs> Believe. Man, this was a misfire, but it's self-love. I'll keep it. So their advice is memories. Memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest. More and more rising within you. Remember the happy memories with your loved ones. Neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love. This certainly could be someone you have memories with, um, or they could just very much be in a very nostalgic type of place in their life right now. And also this is a warning, not a warning, but like this sometimes this can indicate the past repeating. You have believe. The force that works through your soul, determining what's possible or impossible, the difference between success over failure, and above all, who you are is the power of your belief. How much do you believe in yourself, Gemini? How much do you trust your own intuition? How much faith do you have that the universe has your back? Because the closer you can get to listening to your intuition and having faith, the easier life is going to go for you and the more you're going to receive what you want out of this relationship. And then also self-love. This is a reminder to love yourself first and foremost. That's the most important relationship you can have is the relationship with yourself. Wow, Gemini, super interesting reading. I love this for you. It correlates with the Aries reading. So like I said, check that reading out. Even if you don't have that in your chart, I feel like you're still going to resonate with it. Um, but zodiac signs you could be connecting with or having your own chart. I've got Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Sagittarius, Pisces again, Leo, Taurus, Pisces, Aquarius, I already said that, sorry, Scorpio, Leo again. And those are the predominant signs that I'm seeing, but take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. So you could find me on Facebook where I'm hosting an event on Saturday. It's live, but if you cannot make it live, that's totally fine. If you purchase a ticket, you'll still get access to the video and the replay, and I'll be talking about how to improve your mental well-being, including overcoming anxiety, as well as your physical well-being, utilizing the law of attraction and focus of your mind. Um, check it out. Event details are in the description box below, as well as in the about section of my YouTube, where you can find the donation link. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can do so there. Otherwise, I'm wishing you the very, very best, Gemini. And until next time, my friends, I'll stay.